All right, hello everybody. My name is Amantis here, and I hope you enjoyed that little song that I played in previously in introduction. It is called Sardana by Kevin MacLeod. If you enjoyed the song, I'll be putting the link down in the description box below. Okay, so we're going to be starting a new series of Let's Play. This time I will be playing Grim Fandango Remastered. Now, this game was originally released back in 1998 and it was considered as one of the pioneers of adventure games and in 3D as well. I first played it when a very very long time ago and I enjoyed it so much. It was released by LucasArts back then, uh, the same by the same company that has created the Secret of Monkey Island and the, mon the rest of the Monkey Island series. Uh, that, like I said, it's uh, it's one of the best adventure games I've ever played, and I have been wanting to play this game on this channel for quite some time. So we're gonna be we'll plan we'll plan on doing that. And okay, so we'll pro I'll talk a little bit more about the game as we go on. And as you can see, this is uh, in the title the Grim it is Grim Fandango Remastered. It did win Game of the Year Award by IGN, and it has been re-released and remastered, so what they did was they've done a lot of updates, for example, some updates on, on things like the graphics, and they've redone the, the soundtrack, and it's also possible to play it on a controller, but for the sake of... For the sake of uh, going back to going back to the retro mode, I will be playing it on a keyboard and mouse. And okay, before just uh, let's just enjoy the game. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the Land of the Dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No! What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the Land of the Dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough! No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. 
I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. All right. Hmm. And... ¿Qué es esto? And we've just watched the opening cutscene. And as we can see, we are... In the Day of the Dead, in the office, is, uh, this is Man we're going to be playing as Manny Calavera, and we'll play the traditional point-and-click way. going to be... Check this out. Looks like I got a message. Okay. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from... Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads! Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars! We have a mass poisoning on our hands! Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve! So let's see some hustle out there! Whatever you say, Hiffy. All right. And we can always... We can always check out a lot of items that we have in our inventory. Over here we have our foldable scythe and we have the message. We can It's examine. some sort of special work order. Previously we have just listened to the work order and... It's some sort of special work order. We've just listened to the work order and we know that there is a poisoning to go to. Let's go and look around the room as we do with every adventure game. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Let's go in this direction. That's one of the things I dislike about this game, is that it does not have automatic save progress, but it doesn't matter. Now let's go in this direction. As mentioned, I will be talking about a little bit more about the game as we play. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. I do admit that I have already played this game quite some time ago, and especially during the time when it was mis remastered. But uh, hopefully I have forgotten part of the story and game solution, so it might... Uh, I'm looking at this from a refreshed point of view. Let's take a look Big at Mr. Bossman doesn't want to be disturbed today. Well, let's talk to this person here. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Ava. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Okay, let's talk, let's talk to her for a little bit. What poisoning? The Code 3 Gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Let's click on everything. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Let's go with, in my heart, though, you are still my secretary. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So... 
You going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Okay, we've exhausted all dialogue options. And... According to the story, this is the Day of the Dead. Let's take a look at this. It's a hole punch. Can I take your hole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. We've got a hole punch here. And anything else that we can click on? We can go in this direction. Let's go here. Oh, there we go. One of the things I love about this game is the music and the soundtrack. It's got amazing music, especially after they've remastered the entire game track with a complete new orchestra. Another thing that I love about this game is the dialogue. You run for it. And here we are, we're gonna go, go explore a little bit. Go in this direction. It's a tool cabinet. Not picking that up. It's locked. Hey, who's messing with my stuff? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha, no, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Ooh, that sucks. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> no, I do love Gladys. Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike, and I'm out. Oh no, poor, poor Gladys. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the Day of the Dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign, back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Uh, 
Okay. Well, we've got one thing solved. That won't help it get signed. Well, the next thing we're going to need to do is to get the work order signed so that we can get ourselves to the poisoning where everybody else is. I will not ruin the backstory too m I'll try not to ruin the backstory a little bit too much. But uh, one of the things I'll do is uh, at least see if I can get past the game without the need of for too many... Too many... Detours. Yes, anyway, let's go talk to Eva for a moment. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Well, I've got a poisoning to go to, you know. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a dilemma here. We need something signed. So we'll go out and explore a little bit. And, like I said, first rule of... It's locked. Any adventure game is to explore, look at everything. Ah, the old head of the department, way before my time. I heard he was a total slave driver. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not picking that up. How's it hanging? Look at the artwork. One not moment. that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. And again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Well, we know what Manny's character is like. Yeah, right. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Hey, let's go out. Let's see. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Go that way. Oh, look! There's a there's a fair over here. Let's go over here and explore a little bit. Oh, look at this guy! Looks like some sort of crafty mine. Let's talk to him for a moment. Hey, what's going down, clown? A back off suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! Oh, that's a nice cat. <laughs> Let's go talk to him again. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? That's a very... Pretty grumpy clown that we've got here. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, what now? A dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! I 
Excuse me. I do apologize for the mud interruption. My pet dog seems to have spotted something. Um, that's fine. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that scared me for a moment. Okay. Let's just continue with our conversation. Bang! Uh, <laughs> one lousy bony fingers. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? I love that bang part. A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Another thing that we do need to pay attention to is to take note of everything that is being said in between characters because they sometimes act as My kid, uh, wants another clues. Ah, jeez, what now? Clues to the next puzzle. Robert Frost. Robert Frost, trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Go and grab some more balloon animals. Grab My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, ah, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Get a few more. Get another dead worm. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, ah, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. All right. We've got another dead worm. Anyway, one of the things that I love about uh, Grim Fandango is the uh, artwork on you know, of the game. For example, there are a lot of uh, Day of the Dead motifs here. Very a lot of strong Mexican culture. If you've watched. Uh, what uh, if you've watched a Disney movie called that's uh, called 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 uh, I do I apologize it's, it's not it's not right at the men that's that's called uh, what's it called again uh, snap that's right now I just have to Google just give me a moment while I Google the name of that. Have that can have that Pixar can tune. Yes, Coco. I apologize. If you watch Disney's Coco, a lot of the artwork is very similar to to what we've got here, and that's uh, day, for example, day of dead colors. We've got these little flags here, and you've got uh, a lot of skeletons. Anyway, let's go and collect a few things. The bread of the dead. Let's grab some bread. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year. I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. There's no limit to those. Okay. Let's take a look at what's over here. Oh, guess not. Way. This way. Yep. Okay. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. No, no. Let's go this direction. And we seem to find a rope hanging here. It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Well, let's Climb up. Ho ho ho! Let's see. Let's see where we are right now. This place is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Oh, we are in Don's office. Let's poke around a little, little bit. Just because we can. More junk I don't have time to look through. 
No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. No wonder, no wonder we can hear Don. Not picking that up. It looks like Don. So, I'm just gonna check it out here. Okay. Didn't say no ever, no interruptions today. I'll just change his auto response here. It'll have to wait! I'm in the middle of a very important meeting! To be. Not now, Ava. <laughs> Can I go further up? Whatever it is, it will have to wait. No. Oh. Makes me wonder where Don ha has snuck off to because he's—he certainly isn't in the office, but he's got his intercom. Let's listen to this, to this one as well. Ava, please. I need a little time. Alone! <laughs> okay. So, at least we know what the answer is. Ah, oh, great, Zeva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Alright. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what's on that junk. To all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. <laughs> All right, let's, let's head off. Let's head back up. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Take a look. Ah, uh -huh. there's nobody in Domino's office. Can I go in Domino's? Domino locks his window. Fear oh. of pigeons, probably. Oh dear. Not picking that up. It seems that we can't go into Domino's office. We'll, we'll be able to find out who Domino is a little later, so what we'll do is we'll head back and get Ava to sign my work order to let me have a modified car. I'm gonna make a run for it. Get back, get back in. Alright. Time to head back up. Here I am. Let's get let's talk to Ava here. Ava, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Ava, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. There's Gladys finishing with the modified car. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning.
Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. We just passed by the other car, and that was Domino, his work colleague. Let's go talk to. Let's take a look at this person. Look at these poor saps. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. <laughs> it's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Soon I'll be coming for them. Well, we are, after all, playing as the Grim Reaper. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Hold on. Truth be told, I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free. Can't reap the milkshake. Can only smell it. Mmm, smells like the perfect client. Rich and sweet. Alright, time to reap this guy. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. I really love how poetic this sounds. I can't carry the whole package out. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Oh, there we go. We've got the scythe, and time to reap this guy out. Nice bathroom! But we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to- Cut the yeah! I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it! Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster. If you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I oughta... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Okay, everybody's back. What Ava. is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. All right. 
Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Okay, we've got this door open now. Oh, we've got Domino here. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? Let's talk. Let's talk to Domino for and ask ask him a few questions and see what he's up to. One of the one of the prime rules of any adventure game is to exhaust all dialogue options. So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? Okay, so the diff so what's happening here is that there's a number nine train, which is the one-way ticket to the other side of the world. And also known as the best way to go through the land of the to travel through the land of the dead in four minutes rather than four in for four years the like most uh, lost souls we do anyway let's go with let's go let's go I got a mean midget I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post ah cheer up buddy another day another death am I right I want to ask you a question shoot slugger is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle, I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I wanna punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Let's look around the room. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Not portable. Not picking that up. Okay, let's go in. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Okay, well, Dom Domino doesn't want us to touch his stuff. Go in this direction and let's head back out. Let's head back to our office, see if there's anything we can pick up. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Mm, that's pity. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. 
This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Okay, there's nothing to pick up here, so what we'll do is we'll head back out. And we'll be heading downstairs. In this direction. You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Here we go. We've got a rather grumpy, grumpy spirit. This we weren't able to enter this room previously, so we'll go inside. Let's take a look. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Okay, we'll... We'll, we'll select this item. Then we'll go with the red one. Select this item and we'll go with the bl blue one as well. Okay, and from the previous cutscene, we, we've actually seen many use these two chemicals. If you push them together, they will turn into a kind of foam. So, this gives us a bit of an idea. What we're going to be doing is we're going to mess up the messaging system because that demon was pretty grumpy uh, from preparing the preparing the message system. Because because people have been sticking in beer t beer bottles and all sorts of strange things into down the, down a tube. So we're going to do exactly exactly that and ruin ruin the messaging let's ruin the tube oh ay 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 look out below ay 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 okay Got another one to do. Then I got one piece of chemical there. Yep, oh, here we go. And we are going to watch this explosion happen. That doesn't sound good. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> oh, we're, we're pretty awful. The things we do just to get. Just to Server's get. down again. That's what else is new? That's because I've done something to it. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Alright, let's go. Direction. Ay, 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 nope. Actually, let's go back up first. There might be something um, that I might have forgotten to pick up. Let's go, let's go in this direction first. Let's go inside. There we go. It's a deck of cards. This up. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Let's see if we can take out the cards. Actually, I won't do that just yet. Instead, 
what I'll do is go in this direction and head back down. I do love the music. That's in, that's in this game. Hey, 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 hey. One of the things I dislike is not being able this not being able to move properly in this game. Nope. Not quite. Let's go here. Aha. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. That's the, that's the very thing I'm going to be. Very thing I'm going to be touching. Let's take a look at it. What we're going to do is we're going to me mess this up a little bit. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Ah, a cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. We're going to talk Hi. to him. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is the idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. <laughs> What's so special about you? What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty coffee. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Oh, this is, this is just a funny conversation that always cracks me up. Oh, not again! Ay, ay, ay. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Just means that we can't use our fire extinguisher over here. Okay, let's head back out and let him just finish his job. Good enough for government work. Okay, you've seen that uh, why I've taken that deck of cards out. I'm gonna go back up. And what we'll do is... What we'll do is... Uh, grab the packing card. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. 
I'm put this back in. Because you can, we can see that the elemental spirit he has used a piece of card to, to stop the tube from working for a moment. And what we'll do is we'll do exactly the same thing except with a few holes. Uh, open this door, and we'll. Take a look at this fancy tube here. That red tube looks familiar. Obviously, that tube belongs to Domino. Let's see what happens if we try to pick it up. That up. It's locked. No, we can't. We can't open up the tube. What we'll do is we we'll use this card and. Oh. This color mark light number 9308 blah 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 died of chicken pox time of death yada 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 aha positive attributes volunteer time reading stories to dying children that's good that's really good i think you're with mercedes colomar i think you're the one for me gladys are you loco what got into you that was a company car oh yeah and it's even better company now! I'm in! <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Right. From the cutscene, you, we, what we've basically done is steal Domino's client, <laughs> and, and, which, who is Mercedes Calamar. Well, so what we'll do is we'll talk to her for a little bit. I'll see you in just progress of the story. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Oh. She, we've got a saint, and yet we don't even have the number nine ticket for her. So what we'll do is we'll have to exit. Uh, 
I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. We're about to get us to a showdown. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Alright, well, we've done... We've looked at that little cutscene over there. And uh, so far, I hope that you've been enjoying the game. And uh, what I'll do is that I'll be um, stopping the live play here for now. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this series so far and uh, yeah like I said I, I have been enjoying playing it for the past hour <laughs> it gives me some of the best memories of trying to solve some of the some of the puzzles in this game anyway I like as mentioned I hope you enjoy the game and look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>